Howdy, Tom here from Typeset. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a slide deck from scratch in Typeset. So I'm in my Typeset dashboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit new deck and here up the right. And uh, I am going to create basically a slide deck covering, um, let's say I'm a coffee shop consultant and I'm um, talking with a potential client on what it might take to open a coffee shop. So this is gonna be coffee shop consulting. That's my deck here. So I'm gonna give it a title. Oops, start with coffee shop consulting just as the, as the title. I hit enter and it's going to bring up already some images here um, for me to drop in that are already themed, uh, like, you know, based on my coffee shop keywords that I entered in here, looks great. So I'm going to um, put my name here. So let's say Tom Snyder. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna hit new slide and let's move on to the next one. So I'm gonna call this one wheel cover and I'm going to make a list. So I'm gonna hit, um, nope. I'm just going to type in bullet, bulleted list. I have some things I'm gonna cover in this slide deck. So what I wanna cover is, uh, let's see, coffee shop equipment, the equipment needed. I also wanna cover um, oops, staff training. That's very important. Staff training. I wanna cover having a grand opening. Um, let's see, is there anything else I wanna get? Oh yeah, and you know what? Um, before staff training, I'm also gonna cover menu. Okay, great, that looks awesome. And you know what, I'm gonna remix this. So if I hover over this slide over here in the viewer window, then I can make this look a little bit different here and I can choose um, maybe I, I want this slide to look a little bit different than it did. All right. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add an image here. So I'm just going to type image. It's going to bring up a stock photo library. And here are some great images of coffee shops. It knows that that's what I'm, what I'm writing about. So I'm going to drop this one in here. Okay. That looks fantastic. Even though it kind of looks like the previous slide. So I'm going to change it up. Okay. Perfect. Now I got something different. All right, so let's add a new slide. Um, coffee shop equipment. This is our first item here. Um, that's a great title. And I'm going to first type in a list. So I can bring up a bulleted list and I'm gonna call this coffee shop equipment. Okay, so Maybe I don't wanna list it all out myself. I'm gonna type in coffee shop equipment while I have the list component selected and hit the tab button. It's gonna turn on AI mode. Then I hit enter and it already brings up these items um, just automatically. So those look great. I'm gonna go ahead and drop those in there. Let me move my little face over. Um, all right, that's wonderful. Don't need a milk frother though, actually. So I've done this. Uh, Time or two, so I kind of know what we need. We also need a point of sale system, and we also need uh, refrigerators. So I'm going to include that one. And all right, so perfect. So I got all of that in there, and you know what? I want to go ahead and, and add some images too. So I'm then going to type slash image, and see what it brings up. Coffee espresso. Um, let me get rid of coffee. Let me change this to espresso machine. Let's see what it brings up here. Beautiful, I love that espresso machine. That looks great. Uh, let me add another one in here. So how about point, oh, oops. Let me bring up that uh, image library again. And let me type in point of sale system so I can add that in there. Uh, looks like we got square. Pretty familiar, most people know Square, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that one in there. Uh, refrigerator, coffee grinders, okay. Well, we don't need that anymore, images that. Oh, that looks, that looks great. Wait, it is. All right, on to my next slide. So the next thing is menu. So what I'm gonna write about. 
Okay, again, I'm going to use AI mode. I'm going to bring up another list, bulleted lists, uh, copy, shop, menu, and hit tab. So I turn my AI mode on again and hit enter. And you see, like, as I'm typing, um, the pre in the preview mode here on the, on the right side, it's updating as I'm adding content and it's changing based on what it thinks will look best and fit best. It's uh, changing in, in near real time. Okay, so AI mode, spat out espresso drinks. That's a great tease. Ooh, cold beverages, smoothies, shakes, wraps, and baked goods. All right, I'm gonna hit enter on that. That all looks wonderful. I'm gonna add uh, some more images here. So we have, let's see, espresso drinks. Ooh, okay, I might have a, a several of them. So there's a cold coffee, there's a latte. Um, uh, let's see what else we got. There's a little menu, um, probably has some specialty drinks on there, that sort of thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop these three images in. Perfect, and it just lined them up like that there on the right. So again, it kind of looks like the, the, the slide just before it. So I'm gonna remix it by hitting this arrow. It swapped them. Um, I wanna see what else comes up here. So I'm gonna hit the magic wand and then this will open up this drawer. So I can kind of scroll through here and see if I like any of these remixes a little bit better. And I actually do like this one. That one I think looks pretty neat. Um, okay, close that drawer. All right. Uh, Let's add a new slide here. I can hit three dashes and that'll automatically add a, a new slide to this. So there's another quick way to do it with just your keyboard. Um, the next thing I was gonna write about was staff training. Okay, staff training, great. All right, and I'm gonna bring up um, some images. I wanna look for an image of a barista so I can drop that in there. Um, maybe, maybe a couple, all right, a couple of baristas doing, doing their thing and drop those in there and it automatically sized them. It made them look great in like this cool sort of design, um, layout rather than them all being the exact same or me having to resize them myself and waste a bunch of time doing that. Uh, okay. So I add a new slide. I'm going to call this one staff. Training continued. All right, so now I actually want to talk about staff training. Um, I'm going to create a bulleted list. Um, no, let's make it a numbered list. Numbered list. So, first thing in staff training is hiring. Oh, I remember. Uh, no, I wanted to do for this one. I actually want to make this a funnel. All right, so if I hit slash charts. I get a bunch of different charts to select from. I'm gonna hit funnel here and you'll see it has a funnel chart in this slide. Okay, so you now that looks great. If like we were sending a marketing email, we might expect it to look like that. But what I'm gonna use this for is actually, let's say hiring. And I'm gonna say that this takes 10 days. So basically, let me give this a little subtitle up here. Days for training. Okay. Uh, so hiring 10, and then let's say this is point of sale slash work training. And I'm going to say that takes two days and coffee training takes three days. And uh, let's say that there's also menu slash hospitality. So I want to train my staff on how to treat customers, um, how to talk to them and that, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call that one day. I'm gonna get rid of that last bullet. So now I have this uh, funnel chart here of what's um, kind of like a timeline looks like. It's not a Gantt chart, but it kind of looks that way um, for training. There is a way to do like those uh, workflow uh, charts like a Gantt chart. Um, I'm just not going to do it here in this one because I think it's kind of unnecessary for like this deck for this purpose because I just need like a basic outline. All right. Uh, my next item is a grand opening. Okay. I'm going to add a GIF 
in here, this one, into this slide. Okay, so those are grand, let's see, populated for grand. I wanna add grand opening, see what it comes up with. That's pretty good, cutting the, cutting the ribbon. Um, I like this one that says grand opening and only has like a little bit of stuff going on. Okay, but I don't like the way that it's the background of the entire slide there. So I'm gonna remix it a little bit and let's see, grand opening. Okay, that looks great. It's got the movement to it and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a new slide right below that. Call this one grand opening continued. Oops, if I could spell it correctly, that might be more helpful. Grand opening continued. All right, how to have an amazing day. Enter into a new slide here. Um, all right, this, how to have an amazing day. I actually wanna change that text to not just be paragraph or normal here. So I'm gonna come up and select subtitle. So it made it a little bit bigger, made it a little bit bold, and it kind of sticks out on the page uh, a little bit more there. So perfect, just what I want. And now I can write below it in the editor window. So how to have an amazing day. Okay, well, I wanna make sure that your staff is trained and comfortable with the equipment and menu. Also make sure your manager is handling the operations of the day of the day uh, so that so that you can spend time talking to customers which is very important there exactly all right and I'm gonna add one more line before it Just remember have fun okay and then it automatically um, updated this slide to now that I have this much content on there to give it a white background instead so I'm gonna open up my remix and see uh, my remix drawer and see what else there is underneath there. Okay, this one that has two columns, I like I like that. Um, you know what, I wonder what would happen if I select this uh, text over here and I highlight it and uh, make it into a quote. Oh, it just put quotes around it. Okay. Um, I don't want I don't want to include those quotes there. So let me go ahead and just remove remove those quotes. Okay, so it just has an underlined have fun. Okay, great. So that's it. Now I can look at this on the right and I have my slide deck over coffee shop consulting. Um, and if I wanted to add another slide down here, let's say, you know, uh, any questions, email me. And then I can include a, uh, let's say, a an email address over here, hello at typeset.com. And I can even turn this into a link. Um, here it is, turn it to link, link to, type in mail to, hello at typeset.com. Okay, perfect, and then apply. And I'll underline it. And uh, all right, so now if I send this to my client or potential client, whoever I'm pitching to, and they want to email me, boom, they can click on the slide right there and it'll go ahead and, and uh, send an email to me. All right, so that is uh, my slide deck. If I want to export it as a PDF, I can do that right there from the export button. If I want to go ahead and just share it, I can do that by hitting the share button or if I'm actually presenting live, then I can hit the preview button here and it's going to preview it. Um, if I'm pitching, uh, let's say over Zoom or Google Meet or something like that to the client. Okay, great. So I hope you learned a lot during this and thanks for following me. Uh, thanks for following along with me and I hope you have a great day.